This is big breaking news. Mass evacuations are happening. People are stranded. The National Guard is being deployed. And this is all very suspicious and very strange and almost seems like maybe the government is potentially responsible for this. All right. I know this sounds a little strange, but hear me out here. All right. It seems like the government has a plan to implement and all the documents are here. I have all the documents and people are suffering from it. People are having their homes destroyed, their lives destroyed. And is this the government's fault? Are they playing mad scientists? Let's dive into what's happening here. So you can see here this big red arrow is where a massive levee break has happened. Thousands of people have been forced to evacuate. Also, this circle here in the middle says San Luis Obispo. That area has also been forced to evacuate as well. And I have there at the bottom Santa Barbara, California circled as well because Santa Barbara County has been implementing a program that they could potentially be responsible for these mass evacuations and for these homes being destroyed and we're going to get into all this and it's very suspicious that this keeps happening so stick with me here i will get into the documents of potentially why the government themselves could be responsible for these events and i know it sounds a little crazy but stick with me here but let's dive into what's actually happening right now so a massive levee break in california has forced thousands of people to evacuate and this is in a small town farm community it says over 8500 people were forced to evacuate saturday morning early in the morning in the middle of the night and this was due to a levee break this was in the pajaro community it's a farming community in northern california and you can see here right on the map it's right outside of san francisco and san jose california this farming community and also parts of san luis obispo have been forced to evacuate as well you can see here complete list of evacuation orders and warnings throughout san luis obispo county so this is affecting a lot of the west coast right now of california and people's homes are being destroyed and being completely flooded entire neighborhoods and this keeps happening this is a recurring theme in california what's happening and i wanted to bring up the santa barbara county because very suspicious all right look at these documents from santa barbara county that they put out just last year last may 2022 this is an official memo from them and it says annual cloud seeding report this is from the santa barbara county and right there santa barbara county is right there and look at these documents they're absolutely insane and it says for the 2021 2022 winter season season cloud seeding operations were conducted to enhance precipitation in the twitchell drainage located in northern santa barbara and southern san luis obispo counties as well as the upper santa nez watershed all right so right there san luis obispo counties they are saying they are targeting this area with cloud seeding right there san luis obispo and then look at that probably 45 minutes an hour to the Pajaro, this community right outside of San Francisco where this levee broke and thousands of people are being forced to evacuate, all right? So what's going on? Is the government liable for these damages that are happening? They are putting out annual reports saying that they are cloud seeding and saying that they are targeting these regions specifically with cloud seeding and they could be causing this massive flooding california has seen record after record broken precipitation records broken every single every single week there's a new record broken for snowfall and for rainfall in california they've had the most insane weather we've seen in decades and decades and is this because they are geoengineering and manipulating the weather and targeting these regions specifically and causing them to flood remember all these very suspicious fires in california a couple years ago how they were targeting certain neighborhoods certain areas and very strange the trees wouldn't even burn it would be whole neighborhoods houses burned but the forests around them 
wouldn't be burned. It was, it was very strange what was happening and very devastating for California. Is this what we're seeing here? Are they trying to drive people out of California? Are they trying to get people out of there, destroy the state? Because it actually is a very prosperous state for farming and our economy. It actually is a critical state, but it's being run into the ground and it's being destroyed and manipulated. And this is a farming community specifically. They're saying this is all farmers and farmland that is being hit and targeted and flooded out and forcing these farmers to get out and ruining their homes, all right? Over 8,500 people just in this one region. And it's right where they are even admitting that they are doing the geoengineering and the San Luis Obispo. So what exactly is happening? Is the government liable here? Are they trying to force farmers off of their land? Are they trying to get people out of where they live, where they farmed for decades, all right? And you can see here, this is even a graphic put out by the Santa Barbara County Water Agency. I put a big red arrow because they're so proud they put their logo down there. This is a graphic put out by a county in California. And they're saying how cloud seeding works. They tell you how it works. They tell you what they're doing. They tell you they're spraying right there. Number one, silver iodide particles are released from the air and or ground-based flare trees. Particularly... Uh, particles rise with the updraft of a storm's convective bands into the oreographic clouds, right? So they're telling you what they do. The hydroscopic silver iodide particles help the supercooled liquid water freeze into ice crystals. So the silver iodide is what crystallizes the water crystals. That's why we see this very strange snow, this very strange precipitation, because it is being forced to crystallize through a chemical reaction instead of through natural processes. And this is what they are doing to form clouds. And then right there, number three, precipitation efficiency is enhanced as ice crystals fall as snow or rain. They admit what they are doing, and they are also poisoning the environment with silver iodide. Silver is the most electrically conductive metal on planet earth and they also use systems like harp and 5g frequencies to electrify the atmosphere they can use the silver iodide to easily easily conduct the frequencies through the atmosphere as well to send them much further with the silver iodide they can electrically charge the atmosphere and the ionosphere with this silver as well and they can manipulate the storms and the weather patterns that way as well. I don't know about you, but my weather predictions are always wrong. They're always predicting, hey, it's going to be nice out and sunny. And then by midday, they have completely blanketed the sky with these chemicals that they spray to block out the sun. So they use silver iodide for cloud seeding and for water crystallization. But they also use sulfur, sulfur dioxide which comes out of volcanoes and which creates sulfuric acid rain when it interacts with the air and with the water. It creates acidic rain. They also spray sulfur dioxide. That's when you see that thick layer just blocking out the sun and they're spraying it directly in front of the sun. That's sulfur dioxide. And they even admit, all right, a whole White House report was put out in October 2022 last year that they are going to up their geoengineering efforts to, quote, block out the sun. The White House put out this. The White House directly said they are going to ramp up this program and start experimenting with blocking out the sun. So we could see the weather manipulated to have massive events to implement nuclear winter scenarios where it's always winter we never have summer the sun's always blocked out the sun is the main driver of our seasons and if they're able to block out the sun and manipulate what the sun is doing then they could essentially manipulate and change the seasons as well this could affect our farming this could affect our food production this could affect people's lands just like this region here was a massive farming region now it's been flooded the crops are ruined and people's homes are destroyed as well too the farmers there so this could be 
and attack another form of attack on our country and this is very advanced warfare and it's it's possible china even has open programs bragging about this how they manipulate the weather in drought-stricken regions to bring them rain and a lot of times this is what happens there's massive floods as a consequence and there's massive destruction but at least china is open about it they at least tell people what they're doing this is kind of a open secret and these people's homes people's lives are being destroyed are being uprooted and potentially the government is responsible for this so let me know what you guys think about this these geoengineering programs are real and manipulating the weather having power over that with systems like this cloud seeding with harp geoengineering these systems are very powerful and very dangerous because they have plausible deniability as well they can always say hey that's just mother nature hey it's just whatever things are getting bad all right they can blame it on a multitude of different things when they are the ones making these storms more intense making the rain more intense causing these massive floods these massive sto snowstorms people in california are getting stuck for weeks from these snowstorms as well 48 feet 48 feet of snow in california in some areas 48 feet not 48 inches 48 feet insane breaking records all over the place and it really points to a geoengineering look at this map all right santa barbara san luis obispo evacuations right there san luis obispo evacuations and then a dam or a levee break right up there in pajaro so let me know what you guys think about this make sure you're getting prepared make sure you have a generator in case the lights goes up tons of people have a power outage as well from these storms as well that's the other thing they can create massive winter storms knock your power out ban wood stoves ban propone propane stoves and then you're just sitting there and freeze to death as well too all right so make sure you're getting prepared get a wood stove if you can have one you can cook on it you can heat yourself it could literally save your life one day and thank you guys so much please hit that like please hit that sub please hit that bell please hit that all if you want to get notified for all my videos i posted a video earlier today go check out that video for me thank you guys so much and I hope you have a big old blessed day.